Hey guys and girls, uh, this is Gordon Overkill, ready to record the 8th episode of my current 60,000 turn speedrun with Gordump, male level 12 trollish duelist. I think that this run so far is going very well. In the last episode, Gordump has even managed to save Calavasta using a ring of Ginny summoning in order to wish for an amulet of life saving which gave him a very nice supply of chaos uh, removal scrolls and um, he also is wearing an amazing equipment that he uh, that he gained in the last episodes with uh, black dragon scale mail, dagger of death, tri tower crystal shield and other very very nice items ring of the high kings, elemental gauntlets already gained and with this equipment in this episode we're going to dive deeper because the next aim no, 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 no. We're not going to dive deeper. I just remember, in the last turns of the last episode, we entered D20, the level of the uh, Elemental Water Temple. And that's what we're going to do right now. We are going to hunt for the snake from beyond. So at first, I will scout the, the right part of the, of the level so we do not uh, meet any mean surprise while fighting the snake from beyond. Oh, what do we have here? Mixed tension room. That looks quite dangerous. What does it feature? Large spider. Ogre King. This guy is not to be underestimated. Mimic hive mind. Holy fuck. Hmm. Don't like that. Mimic hive minds are super deadly enemies. Have we got any means of killing this mimic hive mind? without having to fight him. That's not good. I will definitely not fight this Mimic Hive Mind if I can avoid it. Hmm. Uh, but on the other hand, we are also not yet strong enough to go for the Tower of Eternal Flames. Fire resistance so once, twice, uh, Maybe we got a ring of fire resistance in addition. I think three means would be enough. Books, food. So where are my rings? Did I miss them? Ring of the key in mind helps against uh, against doppelgangers, but not against mimics. Damage fish. Amulets. What about amulets? Have we got something nice there? Cold heart, regular undead, black talk. No, nothing. <sighs> well, sad but true. I think we have to retreat from this level. And I think we cannot go deeper because if we now take this way over to the downstairs, maybe the mimic hive mind will follow us and we will not have the chance to get back. So we have to go back upwards. That's not perfect, but we cannot avoid it. The Mimic Hive Mind is just too strong to face it right now. Uh, that means that we've got a lava, rather limited supply of options left. What we can do is uh, completely scout these levels from here to Dwarf Town. That's what we're going to do first. Then we are going to continue with the, uh, the remaining Dwarf quests, which will surely also help us. And maybe even give us some very useful Cyclopses. Okay, okay. I think we should be able to take them off. Give us some very useful items for the tower. And I hope that we will be able to do the tower preparation without going deeper into the Caverns of Chaos. So we also won't have the water orb, which is a little sad, but uh, can't be changed. What I'd like to do is at first do the pyramid when we're back at the at the surface, in order to get the um, ancient mummy wrapping. Oh, already me level 13, fine. Athletics above 80 is cool. Uh, continue increase dodge. Yeah, I do that. Um, what else? What else? Uh, literacy above 60 would be fine. Yes. And I also increase mining a little further. Well, uh, now we got the invitation to the pyramid, which is actually quite fine. Deck is level 10, is also cool. 
Well, uh, it, when we've got the uh, ancient mummy wrapping, we can go for the um, the lawful altar in the in the puppy cave and uh, try to get a crowning by sacrificing monsters. Okay, that's a little scummy. That will also cost us quite some turns, but I think that's the best thing we can do. So if we're lucky, we get a uh, something like uh, fire immunity from the crowning, and then we would definitely be ready for the tower. Though the fight against the Ancient Chaos Worm will also be a very, very hard challenge because we are not able to uh, really use... Uh, not able to use... Missile weapons. Cyclops corpses. Gonna eat these. So, finished off these Cyclopses. Here is the invitation. You can just read it. Hero, I am waiting for you. Visit my palace in the ancient pyramid for a meeting. Come as soon as possible. The scroll is signed with Rehetep. Rehetep, we will soon meet. That's the promise. Oh, go. <laughs> we are A. <laughs> that was uh, a little dangerous. And this guy is quicker than us. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we got some offensive wand with charges. I think I used the wand of fast laying. Minimum charge, kill the ghost lord. Okay, we hit ourselves with that, but uh, it's not so bad. But ghost lords can massively age your character, and trolls have a very short lifespawn. So that was actually super dangerous to melee this guy, that was not clever. And I was really lucky that he did not hit us. However, that's the plan. Do the pyramid, get crowned, and then... Well, maybe at first do the Dwarven quest, then do the pyramid, and then get crowned, and uh, try to uh, do the tower afterwards. And after the tower, I'm sure we will be strong enough to also deal somehow with this hive mind. But that was a little bad luck. I hope that we would have been able to, to do the tower now, but uh, Mimic Hive Mind, no way. Lich shoots his magic projectiles at us. Well, I'm not going to clear this room. There are too many stud trainers around. It's very likely that we will leave here weaker than we entered. D17. Who are you? Rapping thief. I also pick up all these... Uh, ah, yeah, that's definitely another thing that we'll do. I pick up all the money and uh, when we're back at the surface we will also visit the high mountain village again. Oh, stop disarming me. Because with uh, the want of teleport that we will earlier get, the guaranteed want of teleport, we will hopefully be able Ah, disarmed again. We will hopefully be able to to get the uh, the scroll of chaos, scroll of corruption removal from the high mountain village. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, asset vortex. Danger for our equipment. We cannot do very much against it. We can just hope to one-hit him. Doesn't work. I was not afraid of for our lives because we're wearing that uh, black dragon scale mail that allows us to, uh, to become immune to acid. But uh, that could have resulted in serious equipment damage. We just found the Ancient Scythe, which is an artifact that can and will very likely sacrifice because we do not really need it. So, here we go. I'm well, still a little sad that uh, I could not try the temple, but, well, I think it was the right decision. Mimic Hive Mind with a level 13 character without an amulet of free action, that would be rather suicidal. Okay. 
These levels did not give us anything very useful so far. I hope we're not just wasting our time. I'm sure we're not, because at least it gives us a lot of experience, which is surely no bad thing for the tough challenges that lie ahead of us. Oh, D15. Here is still a lot to explore. Need some more of these cursed lizards. Who are you? Blue baby dragon. At least these baby dragons always drop quite a lot of gold. And this gold will be used for our crowning. Hello, steel zombies. Also, we have not done yet Dark Forge. But the problem with Dark Forge is that I'm a little afraid I might use my only high damage weapon that I have at the moment, which is this Dagger of Death. And this one is extremely important to deal with these uh, golems of Dark Forge. Oh, Lesser Spider Vault. That might give us some nice equipment. These lesser vaults have an increased chance to drop items. So maybe we will be happy to find something very nice down here. Four quarrels, fine. Money. Morning star. A red morning star. Well, no. Glass amulet. That's definitely cool. Well, more or less cool, so... Amulet of Light. We will need one of those in the future, but we could alternatively also use a torch. That's why I'm picking up all these torches and fire-making equipment on the way. Blue metal cap, we already got one of those. Finish out these spiders, come on. secret way in there here yeah maybe the inner spiders have something something more nice like a potion potions are always cool We're finding lots of shields that we do not need in the long term but we are an absolute shield expert with shield 7 already really happy with the development of the character but what makes me a little afraid is that we might maybe be too slow wasting too many turns here with the exploration and up and down I hope that I could do that in, uh, in less uh, moves I hope to do uh, to maybe even reach the the wall of flames during this dive but that doesn't work I hope we do not miss too many turns but as I said I think 60,000 turns is rather moderate aim and I hope that we will be able to reach it also without playing everything absolutely perfectly well. If we should succeed in this run, maybe in the future we could try another one for maybe uh, less than 50,000 turns, but we're not so far yet. First we have to uh, somehow win this game, which is... Uh, Oh, okay, hello, moment. Which is a big challenge by itself. So far I have won just nine Adom games. And uh, uh, I'm playing this game for about five years. Come on, hit him. We're shooting like an idiot. Ah, just kill him, I do not want to play around with him for too long. So we have to win the game, we have to win it in time and then 
then we can uh, think about uh, about other games that will be hard enough. The B. Yeah, no, nothing else. So the B is drop corpses, but not the guy from whom I wanted the corpse. Well, maybe it's also, it's not only negative not to have Tillopotitis at this point, because uh, especially in Dark Forge, I will be happy not to have it. That's the pool. Yeah, a grey pool. Remember those pools. Maybe we will be able to make use of them in the future. Again, nice training, of course. We're going towards level 11 in Daggers. Already now we are excellently skilled, but there's still room for further improvement. Climbing set, backup climbing set, maybe that's not bad. I will drop that in a Dwarf Town as a, as a backup if we should for some reason lose ours and okay here we get to the animated forest right yes but we will not take the animated forest route we will again go through the dwarven halls hopefully it will again work as fine as it did when we came down here and we also check the last steps here attack the dwarf no no the dwarfs are lawful that will ruin my alignment. We hit by a cone of magical ice. Okay, that means there is an ogre wizard somewhere in here. Where is he? Closely be next to our head, moderately, critically, and I'll kill him. And he's dead. Fine. We slew the ogre wizard. That's very good. Oh, and we're getting really hungry, so we should maybe just eat something delicious, like this uh, lizard pops. Here we go. Yes, that's it. Now we could as well go back to the Dwarven Halls. Okay, definitely have to quickly then. Well, ah, no, wrong direction. I will not, surely not, go to the Mimic Room in Dwarven Halls 2. These Dwarven Halls can feature the nastiest of enemies. I lost a couple of very promising characters down there. Here we are, back in Dwarf Town. First thing to do here is now get the reward for our finished Dwarven quest. Hello Mr. Trunda, what do you say if I say I've been beyond the animated forest? Well done, might come handy sometime in the future. What did you give us? A nasty wand of fireballs, excellent to have for the pyramid. I want another quest. Have you maybe got more for me? Vanquish the ogres. Yes. Sir, surely I'll do. Here is the hidden ogre tribe below Dwarf Town. I am going to finish these guys off right now. Ogre Megas, trying to flee. I hope that I will be able to take this guy out before he can. Okay. Bring it to the air. Where is he? I lost. There. Come on. No mumbling. Ah, and we killed him. Fine. Let's eat his corpse. Maybe that gives us a mana bonus. No, it does not. Too bad. Anyway, we'll eat as many ogres as we can. Believe it or not, they are delicious. Nothing more refreshing than an ogre. A dead body of an ogre for lunch, breakfast, or 
whichever wheel you prefer. Actually, we are so strong that these ogres are no real problem for us. Damn, I've mind. Everybody else would have been not that much of a problem. A mimic hive mind, holy crap. Killed the next ogre megas, fine. I'm also not 100% sure how I would have fought the snake from beyond, because uh, it's also not a not a weak enemy, but I think I would have tried to do it in melee somehow. We are just destined to do it in melee. We are a, we're a duelist in the end, one of the strongest melee classes in the game. Ogre Lord Corpse, delicious, and we have killed all the ogres. Fine, so we can directly leave this place again. And get the reward for the next quest. Hello, Trunda, here I am again. Let's talk about quests again. Well done. Take this gold and use it wisely. Yeah, this will be spent on our crowning. Meanwhile, have you maybe got another quest for us? You need some combat practice. Win the champion's title in the arena. I will try my best, but I will not do that until we've done something else, which is the pyramid. So, from now on, next aim is finishing the pyramid because the ancient mummy wrapping is excellent to have when we do the arena quest. Uh, on the other hand, we've got 180 hit points. I'm really not. I think we do not need the ancient mummy wrapping for this quest because I will use a strategy that I have developed during the last uh, Ancadian Fighting Championship. Uh, and I'm rather sure that this should work. So let's go to the arena level. And there I am going to finish this episode, when in the next episode I will try to become arena champion. These guys are really rather weak things. Eat this corpse, because it teleports us. We will get confused for a couple of turns, but maybe it will at least be... Ah, oh, that did not work at all. Um, that was a waste of turns. I hoped it would help us, but we got randomly teleport teleported to a totally different place, which somehow completely sucks. Mm. However, this is a Karmic Lizard. We have to finish him with our missiles. And we are so bad with missiles, it really sucks. It is hard to bear. Now he's dead. But soon we will get both to level 1, which is somehow quite good for a character like us. Give me a necromancer. You're going to summon your miners, but they are too weak for us power beast, Torish duelist. Who's that? Griffin. So this is our direction. I will take this ring mail with me as well. I think it's nice to sell. Where are the upstairs? I think they were somewhere over here if I remember correctly. Maybe below these items over there. Oh no, that's the spider spawner. Come on, finish him off. Quickly. Oh now we are surrounded. But at least I got the dark elven wizard. So now, fight our way out of here. Through all these spiders. Well, let's see positive. That's also some fine training. Lots of enemies on short space means we can effectively train our weapon skills. So, 18. I'll eat them. Is here the stairs? Yes, here they are. Just as I thought. Ah, yeah, I remember. Still not 
reach the arena level, where was it? Here it is. And this is where our next adventure will happen, because Gordam is going to try to become arena champion. So, here he is. And, um, hmm, that's no nice uh, turn score. I will fight a couple of fights before, so I get to, a, to an equal turn score to finish the episode. This one was rather easy. 21,601. Maybe we'll try to do 22,000. See what we have to fight on the way till we, till we reach the, the turn. Another red. No problem at all. Now, another nice thing is that uh, in these arena fights we will earn quite some money. Which we will also use for our crowning. I just hope that we will not have to fight a cat, otherwise we would have to uh, use some special methods in order to get rid of it without of killing it with our own hands. Six hundred, yeah, fifty more fights. Who's the next enemy? That's a hyena. These guys can hardly harm us. I'm not afraid of them at all. Dropping scale mail, but it's an ordinary one. Don't need that. A shadow. Shadows can drain our strength if they were able to hit us, which is but very unlikely. Okay, werewolf. He summons his buddies, but uh, I think they will not be a problem either. We can easily take them out one after another. Mm, getting closer to turn 22,000. And nine more fights till we're arena champion. Okay, that's the dwarf. Who's trying to flee? Ah, we won't allow it. I'll check if this guy maybe dropped a pickaxe. No, just a large Russian. Eat that. Six more fights. So now it's five more fights. So this and four more. When it's two more fights, then we will be right next to the boss fight and then at latest I hope that come on, kill him. I hope that we will be able to uh, end this episode. So three more fights. This time it's Dark Sage, I think. Come on, finish him. Yes, fine. Two more fights, and the next will be the boss fight. That means I will already now use my wand of door creation, which has just one single charge. That's a little... not so much. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I hoped it would be more. Anyway, I'll use this charge anyway, here. And I will try to get the last charges out of the ones that I still have. Come on, one last charge. Where is this last? Here it is. So now we've got two at least. Maybe I will also get one out of uh, the very last Wand of Dog creation that we have. Yes, fine. That should be enough. In order to use this, if we have to fight certain invisible ogre magus. Well, until then, we've reached turn 22,000 and I think that's a fine point to end this episode. In the next episode, you will see the boss fight in the arena and directly afterwards. Well, at first we finish the, uh, the remaining dwarf quests and then we will heat for the pyramid. So don't miss that one. Hope you're still enjoying it. Bye everybody.